keys first bloom. K keys plural, one bloom each. Why on earth am I putting a video out on something like this? Well, <laughs> we have had a long ride with at least one of the keikis that is now in bloom. The abuse for one, the lack of light and the lack of temperatures, the transition and all of that wrapped into one is the reason for this video because like baby's first steps are being videoed and recorded and saved for sweet memories. My keikis first bloom, get the same, oh look, <laughs> first steps. <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking on this video. You may think it's silly, but you know what? I celebrate every single thing that my orchids give me because they have a lot to deal with. Especially, well, let me introduce the babies. <laughs> it's possible that some of you don't need the introduction, but for the sake of the video, this is Walter Jr. right here. And this, I'm not exactly sure how I should call her, him. We'll be interchanging, but this is Maximilian's baby right here. So, mother plant right here is Walter Sr. This is Maximilian and their corresponding K keys. Now, I have to also say that both the K keys were harvested from the mother plant at the same time and both had the same start in life straight into Lekka and self-watering and both didn't have a problem with that at all. However, one of them then was taken out of Lekka and self-watering as a test to put into Colomy, which is a media that I thought might work. It looked pretty, you know, I could get the white stuff, but anyway, long story short, Walter Jr., poor thing, was put through his paces and was down to a single leaf. So remember I just said both were harvested at the same time, both went into Lekka and self-watering at the same time, both adapted to Lekka and self-watering very, very well. So why is it <laughs> that I have Walter Jr., after all the abuse and neglect that he had to deal with, blooming at the same time as the baby from Maximilian? You see, Maximilian was treated with a lot of reverence, a lot of care, stayed in Lekka and self-watering, was only repotted last year just to make sure that the aerial roots were going to go into the pot. That's how much I need this orchid in my life. And yet, with all the babying and pampering of Maximilian here, um, yeah, first bloom at the same time after all the abuse of Walter Jr., who gave me a first bloom right after I started to treat him correctly. You can see that Walter's mama here is not in bloom yet, but it's the first time I have two spikes on that orchid. And now because I've moved it, I will probably have some bud blast. But you know what? For the sake of celebrating Keiki's first blooms, mama has to make an appearance. See or see. It is the first time after two years that Maximilian is blooming for me. And the back spike that I'm using as a staking prop right there has created a branch and is also now throwing a bud, which may blast. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. I was very concerned why Maximilian did not bloom for me in the season of 2020 and 2021. I was very concerned. This orchid, of course, is also very precious to me. The leaves are warming up. I got to be careful because they live in very, very low light levels. This is probably like, ah, put my sunshine glasses on. Oh, what is this brightness, this thing I'm exposed to? Don't want to be burning any leaves. We've done so well up to now. But anyway, yes, I just wanted to show you my Keiki's first blooms, baby's first steps. And I find it quite interesting also that both the keikis have a spike with, you know, the extension, it is possible another bloom would come, but none of the two have extended the spike with more buds. It's only a single bloom. Meanwhile, let me just say, I am not going to let these keikis branch out, bloom any further than they already have. Maximilian only just opened the bloom like three days ago. <laughs> and it's not even open properly yet, so it's just tentatively having a little look-see at the big, bright, beautiful world. Same here. 
these blooms are taking forever to open up so I'm not going to be stressing these orchids in order for them to bloom. Walter Senior can handle it. Walter Senior is extremely vigorous and that obviously has moved straight into Walter Junior here. Didn't care about the abuse and bounced back so quickly <laughs> that it's actually caught up and probably surpassed Maximilian over here. Anyway, the spikes will be coming off and then let the growing season continue. And what I'm waiting for now is to see that the two keikis start to grow leaves that are marginally bigger, start to resemble the parents, the size of the leaves of the parents. Anyway, <laughs> the journey of my keikis is in the playlist Phalaenopsis Lookbook, which I will link in the description if you're interested to have a look-see. I want to thank everybody that has been along for the ride all this time because that means that you've been with my channel since I uploaded my first video in April 2020. Your support up until now has been so appreciated. Also, that you were not too mad at me for doing what I did to Walter Jr. with the colony. It got scary. I wouldn't have been surprised if that cakey just said, yeah, meh, I'm not staying here. What a horrible place this is. Thank you so much also for watching this video, for being with me here on the patio, celebrating Keiki's first blooms, and I'll say it again because it's so cute, baby's first steps. <laughs> Have yourself a fabulous day on that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.